It's game three on day three of the Hero, Hero Hockey Champions Trophy here at the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre. Plenty of interest in this one. India could take a giant step towards the final if they can record a victory against Belgium here. Let's get join our commentary team now, Cedric D'Souza and Ashley Morrison. Thanks, Chris. The rain has stopped falling. It's just, well, a few drops still around. But it is Belgium versus India. Match nine, day three. India are a team in form. Belgium have been struggling to find their form. Will they find it today against India? If they want to have any hope of playing off in the top half of the tournament, nothing but a win will do for Belgium. Manfrey and John Joe Doman. Just a little week before they run out onto the pitch and lead their players out. have really come here and impressed so many people to strengthen their defensive side of the game and maybe that was why Roger van Gent was brought in the Dutchman by Roland Olmans late in 2015 to give them a stronger defensive structure Belgium are renowned as a good attacking team can they unlock that defense today stay with us and see the action unfold now the national anthem of Belgium first. the national anthem and of india standing for the national anthem of india The national anthems have been completed. Now it's just the handshakes and then the action can begin. Belgium looking for their first victory. India looking to keep up their winning ways and move back to the top of the ladder alongside Australia. And they will be almost one win away from getting into the final on Friday. Take a look at the teams. Well, Vincent van Asch has in, been in great form under the bar for Belgium. A lot of responsibilities for number 16 from the penalty corners, Hendricks. And John John Doman, well, we need to see him combining with the front line. Felix Denea is always lively. Simon Gunard, too. And I see those two players as being the key components for Belgium. For India, well, Harman Preet has shown that he can play at this level and he's got two goals to his name so far. SV Sunil wearing number 24 has been so lively up front and he's set up two goals for Mandeep Singh. Can Talvinder join him and get some goals tonight? We'll have to wait and see, but they have a potent forward line. 
Looking at the substitutes bench, again, there is some talent on both the benches. Loic Leipart is named there, and hopefully we will see him taking part. Alexandre de Pau is another key player for Belgium, whereas Pardit Moore and Nikim Tamaya. Nikim Tamaya is lively up front, Pardit Moore on the flanks for India. Final huddle from the Indian players, now they break up. Good to see. Harjit out there starting the match. He did not play at all in their last outing against Great Britain. And he is a young player with a huge potential career ahead of him. It will be Belgium to push back. Juan Van Abel back to his captain, John John Doman. India almost stealing it immediately from Simon Gunnard. Ashley Morrison alongside me, former Indian coach, currently the coach of Austria, Cedric D'Souza. Hi, Ashley, I think this match today is going to be a humdinger. After a day's rest, both teams will be really firing to go. Belgium has to get a victory under their belt, having lost one and drawn one. India bringing with confidence, wants to take that momentum forward. Penalty corner has been awarded to Belgium, and we're not even one minute into the match. 30 seconds into the game. Decision made by umpire Chen Di Kang from China. He's joined down there by David Tomlinson from New Zealand at the other end of the pitch. Just one from ten from penalty corners in the tournament so far for Belgium. Hendricks is the man waiting at the top of the circle. Dokia is also there, Doc, here at the second battery. It is Hendricks who sweeps. Hendricks has hit Manpreet high in the chest. Manpreet looking to play on quickly, picks out Talvinda. Danish Mushtaba was in support, but Talvinda cuts infield. Now he finds Mushtaba. Mandeep is ahead, driven towards the back post and just took a deflection off the Belgian stick of Stockbrox. Well, a great start by, by Manfred from a penalty corner. He quickly plays the ball down to Kalvinda. Tavinda looks forward, cuts inside, plays the ball to Danish on the wide. He fires the ball in the circle, but no deflection in. Great deflection, actually, by a save by the Belgian defender. Belgium looking to attack. Desperate defending from Surinda, but he played the ball straight back to Belgium. Now it's Gunard. Gunard, though, surrounded by Indian players, came up dangerously. It was off Gunnar's stick as Mandeep came in to make the tackle. Yeah, Gunnar is trying to spin around and, you know, the pressure for the reverse pressure for Mandeep is what stole the ball. So it's been a hectic opening couple of minutes. And you just feel India will want to slow things down and just calm everything and then build their game. Sadly, the rain has ruined a good day out for a lot of young children who came to watch today. But some of them are hardy fellows and have decided to stay. India patiently trying to draw Belgium out, create some spaces. Clever pass down the side from Hardman Preet. SK Utapa, though, hit it into the turf and it rose dangerously. Roland Altman's coach of India watching on. It's been two Olympic Games with the Netherlands and one gold and also with Pakistan. So be his third team in Rio. Well, actually, I think in this tournament, uh, Sunil has impressed really up front and Harman to the back has really had a blinder for tournament so far. Including Surinder also playing very strong in the defence there. But I think the, the, the good thing about India is they're really playing compact in, in, in defence and then when they move up front, they're so good on the counters. Belgium a little bit frustrated in that they've conceded six goals so far in their two games. That'll be a worrying statistic for Shane McLeod, their coach. Danish Mustafa manages to find Talbinda. Sticks flying everywhere. Talbinda keeps going. Be a free hit to India just outside the deep. Talbinda again is a dangerous player when he's on fire. Harjit goes back to. Harman Preet, both players in the India youth team that will be playing at the World Cup. Harman Preet, brilliant run from him. 
It's another free hit, just lifting it into Arthur Van Doren. And it comes back to Raguna. Ragu sweeps it, was looking for a touch from Talbinda, but it wasn't really low enough inside the circle. Is that fair to say, Cedric? Well, that's a nice ball by Ragunath because it's just slightly, not along the ground, he's looking at a little aerial, you know, slightly raised. So that uh, Talbinda has to move towards the ball. He's got to post up for that ball, be a little more stronger in his conviction to try and deflect that ball. And we saw the results of the games earlier today. Great Britain with a good win that keeps their chance of making it to the finals alive. Belgium need a win today if they're going to threaten as well. Comes across the deep. India need to keep their winning ways. Otherwise, it will go down maybe to their last game against Australia. Okay. Although Not India long play long. Korea in their next match tomorrow. It's a long corner to Belgium. Belgium play Australia tomorrow. Van Doren wide on the left. And players closing down to come all the way back. Swept into the D. Good touch, but an equally good touch from Pardeep Moore. Yeah, look at that ball, Ashley. The hotline the ball, direct route to goal in the center of the goal, has been blocked by the Indian defense. It's three on two for India on the attack now. Nick Intermeyer goes inside the circle, checks back, tries a shot. Just took a deflection off the stick of Bokhard. One corner to India. Maybe they should have done a little bit better. SK Utapa deflects off a Belgian stick. It'll be another long corner. Harji yeah. <laughs> to Raghunath. Will he sweep it in again? Yes, he will. This time, though, the defence is good. Van Doren had his stick low down. He was played it quickly, looking for Cedric Charlier, but it was too far ahead of Charlier for him to bring it under control. Well, Van Doren is basically the free man, covering all the zones, and the hotline ball, the direct route to, to the goal, he's been covered completely. So if you're looking for the ball, you've got to move him away before you can fire the ball into the circle. Eske Utopa playing a good one-two along the side. Harji is ahead, it'll be... Free hit to Belgium, Manpreet unable to link up with Harji, or Akashdi brother. Gunnar gets a little bit of space on the left-hand side. These are the fixtures for tomorrow's game, India versus Korea at 4 o'clock. That is followed by Australia against Belgium. And the big one as far as Great Britain fans are concerned will be Great Britain versus Germany. Swept across and able to bring it under control was Gautier Bocard. Shane McLeod watching on anxiously. Just 10 months to prepare his team okay. for the Rio Olympics. Took over from Jerome Delme. in defence was Van Strydong, just anticipating that pass and getting there ahead of Indian players. And yeah, though, and that's the area that's impressed me, Cedric, is they're coming back, the forwards, and defending really well. Foot, foot, yeah. But the striker, the first line of defence when you lose the ball is the immediate person in front, so the striker is losing the ball, they get back quickly, they're using a lot of reverse pressure. Manpreet fires it in, takes another deflection off Arthur Van Doren's stick. It's another long corner to India. Excellent. Spell of pressure as we reach the halfway point of the first quarter. Hardeep Moore trying to go one way, then the other. Cleverly played it off Cossin's stick over the side. Rain begins to tumble down again. It's fine rain, though, so no reason to go running for shelter. Roman over the top to Charlie. Belgium defence, I mean, sorry, rather, to Belgium attack, a little bit slow to join in. Although there were numbers on the left. John John Doman into Ragona, kept alive well by Depau. Doman again goes out wide to Denea. Denea drills it across. Well, what a run it was coming in from Alexander Depau. Just couldn't get the touch that he wanted. Well, a great change of angle, change of point of angle, change completely from the centre to the right-hand side, and the ball fired in. Depau running in for the tip-in, misses the ball. 
changing the point of attack is such a critical point, such a critical aspect of hockey today. Not just one direction, and changing the point of attack all the time. Valmiki picks out Akashdeep. Akashdeep has to double back, comes to SV Sunil. Sunil was shaping to drill it to the back post, and he did it the second attempt, but Talvinda unable to get the touch. To Pau for Belgium, he was dropped from the team in January 2013, was selected again in September 2014, and he said when he was recalled to the team that he's, it gave him a greater hunger to play for his country and a greater appreciation. That's why he was making desperate runs like that. Obviously, he wants to maintain his place in the team, and you have to do that, Cedric, at the highest level. Especially because the competition is so, so close and everybody's trying. Good chance now, comes across the D, over the bar it goes. Well, great chance for Belgium to open the scoring. Gunnard thwarted, though, by good pressure. Yeah. Well, a great run back by the Indian defender, Valmiki. Actually, unsighted Gunnard, who put the ball over the, over the post. If he was free and didn't get back in defence, he had an open goal. But that's what I was talking about, pressure by the Indians. Everybody's running back to help. Sunil, good pass from him to Talbina, back to Akashti, but he just couldn't bring it under control. It was also brilliant at the other end of the pitch, run from Sebastian Dokia. In fact, I think it was taken away, yes it was, just a good touch, taking it away from Akashti. Ragunath. And it's interesting, I think his game's lifted because there's pressure now oh, from Harman Preet being thrown in the mix. It's not just always going to be Raghunath and Rapindapal Singh. There's now three players vying for those spots. Well, there are actually more. There's Elbindar Lakra, there's Rapindapal, there's Raghunath, there's Harman Preet, there's Surinder. There's a lot of guys of Jazji. And Jazji there, you know. I've got a lot of guys that's uh, vying for that spot to, to Rio. Yeah, on the attack again. Kept him play. One corner, Paulus, please. <laughs> One corner, unable to keep that in play was Van Strydonke. Just the wet weather saw him just slip and his stick slide. Surrender, he closed down by Breels. Breels does brilliantly. He's got his stick there and had enough strength in one hand to stop the ball getting into the circle. Now he's going to have to show some magic. In fact, he's done well and forced Surrender to just push it over the side. Is it just me, or are Belgium being a little bit cautious? I think you're right, because they know that the Indian strikers are so good at the elimination skills of 1v1s, and they've got so much speed. If you look at every time India gets the ball in the last quarter, they're getting into the circle. There's a lot of circle penetrations, but no actual shots at goal because they're closing down by the, by the Belgian, Belgian defence. Hendricks out to Van Strijdon. Still quite a lot of water on the pitch from the Danport late in the last game. Devinda Valmiki, good block from him, knocked him off his feet. Mandy surging forward, but good recovery, getting back behind the ball by Van Albel. Still alive for India's Harjit sweeps it out to Pardeep Moore. Pardeep Moore, short pass forward, Nick into Maya, tries to give it back to Pardeep. He's claiming he was pushed, but well placed was the umpire, David Tomlinson, who says absolutely not. Actually, the ball was in the left pocket just now. The great transfer back, played to the guard, the guard played it to the wide, and right across to the other side, from the ball side to the help side, it opened up the entire spaces. That's what India is doing greatly at the moment. It's doing a fantastic thing everywhere in this tournament. John John Doman in space. What can he do with it? Feeds it to Stockbrooks out wide on the right hand side. Just swiveled on his stick back to Hendricks. And now it is Van Strydock who surges through the midfield. Ball was lifted into his body off an Indian stick. Now he plays it into the foot of Nick Intermeyer. The Belgian player stopped, thought it was a free hit, but hang on was the call. And now it's Raghunath who just shoots it into the foot of Depau. It was way too easy for the defender. Well, the defender, when you're stuck in the pocket, there's pressure on you. You try and fake and make the striker make the first move. And then he makes the first move, he opens up his legs and finds a foul. In the final two minutes of the first quarter, no goals as yet. India have done most of the attacking. Pardeep Moore runs into Simon Gunard. That is 
David and Goliath stuff. Cunard a far bigger man than Pardip Moore. Raghunath out to Harmanpreet. Short pass infield to Harji. He just lifts it to Surrender. Doman gets there though as Surrender didn't bring it under control. Doman threw the legs off the foot of Surrender, so free hit to Belgium. Doman throws an overhead pass. Is Charlier going to get there? I don't think he is. No. He worked hard to try and keep that in play, but just dancing and running away from him. An error ball coming in from Ronaldo all the way across. You could see. Harman Pete and Charlie both running for that ball and, and Harman Pete the youngster actually edging the split in, in speed. Yeah, way too much on it for Sri Sunil to bring it under control from SK Utopa. SK Utopa who's been recalled to the Indian side for the Sultan Aslan Shah after good form in the Hockey India League. Did go to London and then has missed out on selections pretty much since then so he's making a Run for Lunt for Rio in perfect time. Great touch goes out to Stockbrooks. Good defence from Akashti. Akashti reverse. And nothing Nikin could do. That was just a clearance from Akashti. Players already making their way off the pitch as the Hooter is about to go. That is the end of the first quarter. No goals as yet. Belgium nil, India nil. Up, oh, Cedric. India on top slightly, just edging that in the first 15. I think from circle penetrations, definitely India has the edge over Belgium in this in this quarter. But you know, it's just early in the match. Belgium they're holding back slightly because they know they have to win this match. They don't want to concede any goals against India, which has had a strong defense in the first two matches. Stockbrook's baking down the right-hand side. Then a good little turn from him. Played into the circle. And then across it came with a good run from Dokia. But unfortunately for Belgium, Gunnar under pressure lifted it over Srijesh and over the crossbar. And the minute he got that touch, you could see his reaction. He knew he'd got too heavy a touch. But he had to get much lower towards the ball. He waited for the ball to come to him instead of going towards the ball. One step forward and he could have tapped that ball in. Belgium players listening on intently as the rain gets a little bit heavier here. Players making their way back out. We're going to go pitch side now because Michael Absalon has Roland Altman's with him. Yeah, thanks, Ashley. Roland, your assessment of the first quarter, no goals in it? No, no goals. I think it was uh, fair. Both teams had some opportunities, but at the same time, the, uh, both defenses were well organised. Uh, so I think it's it's fair to have a, the, no no goals yet. But uh, well, I'm looking forward to the goal now in the second quarter. What do you have to do to get the win today? Well, uh, we, we just have to execute our plan well. I think we know both uh, both teams know each other quite well. We know the strengths and weaknesses. I think we have not been able yet to show that that's a weakness part, but we try to do it now in the second quarter. Thanks for your time. It'll get pleasure. Thank you, Michael. So, Ronan Altman saying there's going to be a goal in this quarter, Cedric. Well, as a coach, he's got to hope that his boards do it. And, uh, you know, India press, uh, India had the territorial advantage in the first quarter. If they continue the same win, why not? It may just crack it. The thing that's impressed me, Cedric, and I mean, he's been a mainstay for... India for so long is Sardar Singh and Sardar's not playing here in this tournament yet they've still looked a very strong compact team. Well that just shows what India has done they've had a much bigger player base they've exposed a lot of youngsters and and look at the quality of players definitely improved. At least they know they can cover the great man Sardar Singh if he's not there. Breels now brings it down gets a brilliant pass infield Srijesh comes out it's a super stop well that was absolutely brilliant Kotaji on the line well she just comes out to close out the angle and press and press the ball carrier and Kotaji just covers the goal by running back into the goal and the ball is played very softly and he just got the Belgium with a good run into the deep but it's now gone the way of India would we'll see that chance again 
and Srijesh was beaten, and Kotaji, calm as you like, behind the keeper. But the great thing about Kotaji was he was marking his man also. He was looking at his man behind, he was getting into the inside zone so that he could not let the ball go through him, and then he covers the goalkeeper also. Great defensive work. Well, it was a brilliant opportunity for Belgium, and it probably just shows how their confidence isn't quite there in this tournament. Shell-shocked by their defeat against South Korea. Should have probably won the game against Germany. Gunard plays it in, cleaning up at the back is Surrender. So certainly, Belgium looked to have come out in this second 15 minutes with a slightly higher tempo and are putting pressure on India. Well, they started exactly the same way in the first quarter, where the first couple of minutes Belgium was all over. They got a penalty corner in the first couple of minutes also. But then uh, India settled down. Raghunath back to Harman Preet. Harman Preet goes back to Raghunath. Well, if you're just joining us, these are the goals from the Great Britain match earlier today. They were victorious over Korea by four goals to one, which means they still have hopes of making the final on Friday, depending on the result today. Condon with two goals in the match. India just knocking the ball away, waiting to try and draw Belgium forward. Now it is Akashdeep with a good run, finds Mandy. Just over the side from Bocard, played on quickly by Akashdeep, fired in. Good touch from Nick Intermeyer, but there was nobody backing in. SK Utupa was just a little bit deeper inside the circle. Now it's Briels, fires it into Manpreet's leg, gets the rebound and plays on quickly. Manages to pick out Felix uh, Dokia, rather. And now it's Akashdeep, three on three for India. Nick Intermeyer makes a run, Akashdeep goes through the gap, leaves it behind. SK Utupa finds Nick Intermeyer. Intermeyer, not a good first touch, fires it across. Good save from Van Ash, appeals for a penalty corner. But it goes against India. I think there's been it yet. Yeah, there's a referral coming. And you're asking for a defensive point, a Belgian point for So India is saying there was a foot off the defender. Looking at this, Cedric. It's come off the goalkeeper, does it clip? It's very hard to see from that angle. It almost looks like it's Akash Deep's or Mandeep's foot, rather. I think I agree with you, Ashley. I think it is Mandeep's foot. Oh, it doesn't look to touch Van Doren's. I think that's off. Mandeep's and Akash Deep is the player in the background. You can see him raising his hand, although SK Utapo is also raising his. Well, maybe it did just catch the heel. Hard to see, Cedric. It's difficult, you know, because the ball was hit. Uh, Vanash pads that ball and ricochets back. Yeah. There is no advice possible. The ball is out of shot. Stay with your decision. And okay. the referral is kept. Okay. So I think that's a good decision Mate, from Dion now. Referral. It's very, very oh, hard to tell. So India keep their referral. But actually, the good thing was how India built up that move and Timaya gets that ball, Nikon gets that ball, he goes into the circle. Shows the left-hand side, hits a beautiful shot on Van Asch's pads. The rebound was almost put in. Super ball coming into the circle from Denea, but again, it was good defence from Harmanpreet. Denea on the ball again, on the reverse. Really drilled that. 
to the top of the circle. Now it's Harji under pressure, manages to feed the ball to Akashti, but a good touch takes it away from him, from Hendricks. But two crucial tackles by Raghunath in this quarter. One in the deep defence and one just over the 25-yard line. Kotajit has made his way forward. We have seen him do that less and less in recent times, but he is a real threat when he does get forward. Now it's Davinda Valmiki under a bit of pressure, just lost control for a second, managed to keep it in play, lifts the ball up. I thought the ball went out of play that time, and the umpire agrees with me, so we're going to go back for a ball from the side. Important game for India, this one, and important game for Belgium as well. Both these teams really need to win today, especially because Great Britain won. Well, actually, we just said about uh, the ball with Kotajit pushing up into attack. It's from a four-man defence going into a three-man and into a two-man defence when you're pushing up. That's what space he gets. Gunnar is looking to just feed the ball infield to John John Doman, but it just eluded him. And now it's Harjit. Harjit tries to just flick it, but it was too easy for Stockbrooks to bring down. And now Belgium got a chance to mount another attack. Gunnar is fed by his captain. Looks to take on Pardit Moore. Fires the ball to the baseline. Good deflection, brilliant deflection. Now into the D comes Charlier, fired it back. But there was nobody there for Belgium. Well, a lovely one-two pass uh, played on the baseline there. He looks up, finds the pass, pass left foot of Raghunath. Number 14 of the Pau not in place to receive that ball. Great interplay though between Charlier and Stockbrooks. Belgium putting those attacks together, they just need one to click. Raghunath put under pressure by Cossines and now feeds Manfred out wide, looking to try and steal that, but it came off his foot was Cedric Charlier. Approaching the halfway point of the second quarter, no goals as yet in this final match on day three of the 2016 Hero Hockey Champions Trophy. Surrender just pushed the ball too far ahead and now has given possession to Belgium. Good run from the power forward, good recovery, Pardit Moore. Charlier was trying to fire that between the defenders. These two teams, Cedric, played twice in the Champions Trophy. Both victories going to India. They played in Bhubaneswar 2014 and India won 4-2. Belgium were 2-0 up in that game. And then in Melbourne in 2012, India won by one goal to nil. So Belgium, you know, haven't beaten India in this tournament, and they are really going to be pressed to do it today. Even more so because they've lost the first the match against Korea and drawn the match against Germany with just a couple of minutes to go. So they they know they have to win this match to stay in the medal contention. Under control by Troyans, pushes it out wide, it comes back to Doman. Doman will slap it into the D, looking for a deflection, great save, Srijesh. Saved again by Srijesh and a penalty corner awarded, and Belgium cannot believe they didn't score. That was a guilt-edged opportunity. Srijesh's second save is outstanding. Well, a great post up and deflection. Srijesh gets that ball, he gets up, moves towards the ball, and on the this, on this pads again. This is what Srijesh is, very quick. Srijesh denying Bukhar. It's the second penalty corner of the match for Belgium. Again at the top of the circle, they've got Dokjeg and Hendricks. Bukhar is also lurking. With Van Doren to stop. Bukhar withdraws. Hendricks again sweeps towards goal. Srijesh saves, follow-up, saved again. Hits low down into the pads of Srijesh, who's on the ground. And then it was a stick check. India looking to get on with play really quickly. Talvinda finds space on the left-hand side. Looks to play it in. Managed to get it through the legs of Bukhard. Still alive for Akashti. Goes back to SV Sunil. Sunil looking to feed Danish Mushtaba. Now it's won by Belgium. They've got the chance to counter-attack. SV Sunil coming back and just stopping John John Doman for a second. But the difference between the two teams, India, when they counter-attack, are getting numbers forward. Belgium are not. Yes, definitely. And also India has got the speed in attack. I think this India's strikers are really very quick. 
uh, compared to the Belgian strikers. Oh God. Reels is a man who can turn a game in a second. Such a skillful player, Thomas Reels. In his 251st international for Belgium. He's had spells with the KHC Dragons and then was with Aranyi Swart. And has returned to the Dragons, as all the Belgian players did, to prepare for the Rio Olympic Games. possession at the moment back to Arthur Van Doren another KHC Dragons player short pass to Troyans right forward that's a good pass along the baseline looking for a foot another penalty corner well worked by Belgium they but Belgium just need goes, to make these count but Belgium goes around the in defense and every time they come onto the baseline they're finding a foot so easily they're committing the player to put a stick forward leaving his legs open not protecting his feet, you get low, but protect your feet. The ball goes into the foot of Mandi, uh, Manpreet and a penalty corner for Belgium. Right. Well, Belgium have been hampered slightly. Lloyd Leipart is on the team sheet today, but we haven't seen him yet. And he is, of course, one of their drag flickers. At the moment, it's all being left to Alexandra Hendricks. It comes out to straight into the feet of Raghunath. It will be another penalty corner to Belgium. Well, a great run by Raghunath. The first wave actually right in line with the ball, and he gets the ball on his legs. This is almost the ideal example we saw pre match when you guys were doing a demonstration of the line that the first runner makes. So Hendricks again waits. The ball is stopped. Hendricks sweeps. It's gone past Regis, and Hendricks has broken the deadlock. A sigh of relief. You can see him puff back his cheeks, cheeks rather. And it is the opening goal to Belgium. Well, it's a good injection, and you know, another uh, slightly out. The ball goes off Regis's left pad, goes onto his right foot, and goes into the goal. He should have been upright instead of, you know, falling down or bending down so low. He could just put his pads together and got that ball. It was right in the centre. That's what it means to the coach. Over the moon. Srijesh will be disappointed. No goalkeeper likes to deflect a ball off their pads. India restarting. We're going to go pitch side now as Michael Abson has Felix Denea with him. Yeah, thanks, Ashley. Felix, let's just get your reaction to taking the lead there. Yeah, very nice. Uh, the condi conditions aren't easy. Uh, and I think uh, both sides have had a couple of opportunities. But uh, I think in general, we had uh, our opportunities. Uh, and it's nice to be ahead now. Nice to get some corners under the belt as well. Yeah, we had some uh, during this tournament. And uh, it's good to have uh, one in, so maybe the follower uh, we'll go in as well. It's good. Keep going in this quarter. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Michael. Harman Preet, which is an overhead. It's not controlled well. And Ash just making sure it doesn't go anywhere near his goal. And then that's played out over the side from Van Doren. Stockbrook's never really had it under control when he played it forward for Van Doren. Now it's Talvinder plays on quickly. Great touch from Stockbrook's recovery. Cutting inside, going towards the baseline. A great touch by Stockbrooks. Extended himself fully for a long corner for, for India. Raghunath, short pass to Harji, fires it into the circle. It's been won by Talvinder. Across the goal it comes. Good defence again, cleared by Bocard. Nick into Meyer. He's been robbed now, and it's Doman. Doman breaking forward, but Akashti just getting the ball off his foot. Well, actually, look at that last uh, penetration by India. Bokard right on the, on the far post, right down low, stick on the ground to deflect that ball and keep the ball in possession. Harajit was looking to try and feed Nick into Meyer. The ball was deflected off Kossins over the side. Now it's Danish Mushtab has played on quickly. Goes past Kossins. 
And again, the stick slow down, and this time it's Van Aubel who steals it back for Belgium. Good 3D skills, but Harjit pinches the ball in the air. Van Aubel, though, gets the decision. He plays it infield. Now it's Depau. Van Doren. Stockbrook's pulled wide. Strong challenge from Harjit, but Cossins comes up with the ball. Cossins advances to the top of the D, and that will be a penalty corner. Surely, oh no, it's not. It's gone the way of India. I thought Ragunath was actually going to get penalised for a push in the back. Oh, and that was just lazy, I'm sorry to say, from SK Utebi. Stick was in the air, and it was a poor attempt to bring the ball down. Belgium's opponents tomorrow watching the game. Aaron Zalewski giving the thumbs up with his goal today. The beanie on the left hand side. Blake Gubbers also scoring, centre of screen. Dribbling the ball into trouble. On the baseline went Charlie but it was won back well by Harman Preet. And Preet goes back to Raghunath now, who'll go with the overhead. Brought, well, not brought down that well by Mandy. He looked as if he just took his eye off it. Crucial moment. Look at Harman Preet in that pocket, you know, youngster of 20 years old. So much pressure under him. He's just so cool. He's got the delivery, he's got the elimination skills, he's got the footwork, and he's got the power. He just plays the ball so coolly to Raghunath for an overhead ball. Belgium on the attack again, Stockbridge feeds the ball forward to Van Arbel, but too much pace on it. Armand Preed, of course, came through the Sergit Academy in Jalanda. And of course, that was named after Sergit Singh, who passed away in a car crash, 1984, age just 32. That was my first Indian camp with Sergit Singh as the, as the fullback, and he used to hit some blinding penalty corners and go back to the, to the room every day with a block of ice somewhere on the body. Got hit with his powerful lethal hits. Very sad that he was lost so young. Two players have gone down. Van Ash to the top of the D. It's fired into the goal, and that is a heck of a finish coming from Davinda Valmiki. But there are two players down behind play as India celebrate. One Indian, one Belgian. I think it was Van Doren, but what a finish by Davinda Valmiki. Is concern for the players down on the pitch. It's SV Sunil and I think it was Arthur Van Doren who collided. SV Sunil and Arthur Van Doren and Van Doren looks like he just got caught on the hip. And the ball ricocheted from Van Ash out to the top of the circle, and Davinda Valmiki just absolutely belted it past him. Well, everybody was looking at the two players fallen there, and the ball was crossed into the circle, and Vanash patted that ball back to Valmiki. He had all the place on the right-hand side to play the ball out. He plays the ball back, and Valmiki in a try smashed that ball right in the net and the goal. Well, what a great time to score, but our thoughts go out with Arthur Van Doren, who's hobbling off the pitch. Hopefully, it is nothing serious. Belgium push back, so they lose one of their key defenders and a goal right on the stroke of half-time. I wish we had a speed gun on that shot because that was travelling. So SV Sunil is having his knee iced at the moment. So that's not good news for India because he's been such a key player for them in this tournament, his pace has ripped defences apart. He gave Vinfader from Germany a really tough day at the office. Belgian player penalised, and the hooter goes, and a few words as the players leave the pitch. But India will be pleased that they go into the break level. They were on the back foot after Hendricks had given Belgium the lead. But the score at half-time is Belgium 1, India 1. Well, we're going to go down pitch side now where Michael Absalom has the hero of the moment, Davinda Valmiki.
cracking goal, Davinda. Talk us through it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it finished up right in the top corner of the netting. Um, you hit it perfectly. Yeah, I got a chance, so I scored it. I didn't <laughs> miss it. Yeah, not often you get those chances like you say you took it. Can India now come back into this game and win it? That's what we all want to know. Yeah, the coach, whatever coach had planned, and uh, we are sticking to the plan and uh, we are executing on the field. So hopefully we'll make it big tonight. Okay. You're back in the game. See you in the second half. Thank you. Thank you. What a finish that was. It's uh, India 1, Belgium 1. You can see the delight of Shane McLeod, the Belgian coach, as they take the lead. But that man nearly broke the goal. It is 1 1. We'll see all the action after the break. It's day three of the Hockey Champions Trophy. We've had plenty of great action, and India and Belgium are not letting us down either. It's been a fiercely fought competitive match. Uh, Belgium just getting into the lead, and it looked as if they were going into half-time 1-0 up, but a screamer of a goal means it is now 1-1. So there we are. Plenty of shots on goal. Belgium having probably the better of the half, although the possession is mostly with India. Uh, four penalty corners to nil. As far as Belgium are concerned, India will be worried about that. Just confirmation of the results so far today. Much needed victory, boosting morale in terms of uh, Great Britain. 4-1 against Korea. A great game between the number one team in the world, Australia, against the current champions at Germany, 4-3. And just uh, to tell you that it's 1-1 between Belgium and India as we speak. We know most of our guests here. We've got Austin Smith. We have uh, Simon Mason. But Tyler Love has joined us. Welcome, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks. Very you... good to be here. Are you dried out after that uh, game against Germany? Yeah. It was torrential rain, wasn't it? Yeah, just. It was uh, pretty wet out there. Yeah, um, you had an outstanding game. Uh, I... Next opponents are India for you. Are you all right? No, we got Belgium. Belgium tomorrow. next, right? So, what do you think? Been impressed so far? Yeah, look, it's uh, they're a pretty good side, and we always match up well against them. So, you will be ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah, I bet you will. But let's have a look at the uh, action so far. Uh, we thought it were going to end up goalless, didn't we? At half time, it was a uh, little end-to-end -end action, but Belgium just scrambling into the lead there. Um, Tyler, as a goalkeeper, you're not going to be over impressed with that one. No, and look, I don't think Sridesh will be either. You know, he's a world-class keeper and he's probably let himself down there but he'll, he'll know that such a shame for him so, I mean, he's made some great saves until then well frustratingly for Srijesh that's what he's renowned for he's renowned for being absolutely outstanding and when he's playing well he minimizes the mistakes unfortunately I don't think I think everybody would disagree that he's also renowned for letting in some absolute stinkers not so often as he used to but that will be something he'll be disappointed with that's a technical term stinker well he's been uh, let down a bit there, I think by <laughs> Raganas running I think yeah. Raganas the first oh, okay. one just yeah. before that he'd been charged charged the one down I yeah. think Perhaps a little bit nervous for the next one, and he's yeah, jumped, and it's gone yeah. underneath. He jumped over it, uh, and what a screamer of an equaliser, Austin! That was amazing. Yeah, the ball just popped up free into the space for Dolvinda Walmiki, and really, he doesn't even think twice about it. He just comes in straight, slaps it into the roof, and I don't think you see them better than that very often. Tyler, as a goalkeeper, you just give him the nod, do you? Yeah, look, he's done well there. He's, um, <laughs> he's got all of that as, as to speak, but uh, yeah. Do you think right, you have time to work the ball away there, Tyler? Oh, look, he, he maybe uh, may not have needed to play that and let it go out the back, um, but yeah. I guess it's all about the awareness on your back post, yeah, isn't it? You're looking sure. out to your left-hand side and you don't quite know what's behind you, and if your defenders aren't giving you that, that, that nod or telling you what's there, then quite yeah. often you feel you have to get something on it. As Australians, I see there's a whole group of you there. You've decided to stay on. Yeah, we are going to watch the uh, first three quarters of this game. You know, we've got Belgium tomorrow. Um, so we're going to start scouting them as of now. Yeah, and as I said, you've, you've been slightly impressed uh, with uh, better parts of their game. Surely you've seen enough of the, each other. you play so many matches against yeah, each other. Yeah, we've played a fair bit against uh, Belgium. And so we, we do know, but they've got some injuries. So they might try a few different things. You know, their corners. Uh, changing it all the time, so yeah, well, we, we never stop learning about it. And on those corners, they've, they've done the two that have come out of the circle. They're the only yeah. team that's done that, so I guess that kind of throws that element of doubt into the, the penalty corner defence. Yeah, for sure, and for, it's one of those things, you know, corner breakdowns, the amount of times they score is amazing. 
Um, so yeah, you know, we'll look at our structure and make sure our structure sets up well against anything that goes outside the D. Yeah, uh, ominously for the rest of the world, you're looking quite confident and growing in confidence, not only for this competition but with the Olympics as well. Yeah, look, we are building. Um, it's, a, it's a process for us. It's not something that just, you know, we just rock up and play. We work really hard back home. The guys that aren't here are working even harder back home at the moment. Um, so yeah, we went building. Um, you know, it's a pressure tournament for all of us. You know, there's a big selection, obviously. So you know, that's added pressure for us. Mate, thank you very much for coming to join us. Uh, we'll see you again uh, later on in the tournament. Uh, let's go down pitch side with Mike. Yeah, thanks very much, Chris. Here with Roland Altmans, the head coach of India. What a comeback in that first half. You must be very happy with that. Uh, to be honest, I'm not happy at all. Oh, okay. Because, Why not? <laughs> because I didn't think that we played well in the, in the second half. Uh, I must say the opportunity really for the Belgians. I'm happy that we scored, of course, the equaliser just before half time. Happy with that. But I know that we can play much better, and that's what I want to see in the second half. What, what specifics will you be targeting in the second half? What did you tell the players at half time? Yeah, we changed a little bit our tactics in our defence. I don't, don't go into detail on that. Uh, and beside that, I think we had some by far more opportunities to enter the circle, and we go back every time. And if you don't put pressure on the defence, you will never score. So we need to change that in the second half. Can you win this game? You can win every game if you believe in it. Good luck. Thanks. Let's join our commentary team now, Cedric D'Souza and Ashley Morrison. India to get the third quarter and the second half underway. Push back now to Manfred. Nothing to choose between these two teams. One all at half time. Nil all at the end of the first break. Who will get the first goal in the second half? Belgium on the attack. Bukhard plays it off the foot of SK Utapa. Then he hits the turf. An apology from Mampri. SV Sunil, good to see him back out there after taking that tumble right at the end of the first half. Driven into the back post. Appeals for a penalty corner. Being given, will India refer? sure they're going to now they've decided against it on well, the ball played back to the guard position but he changed the point of attack moved it slightly and then fired the ball in just in it clips a foot of surrender and a penalty corner well the cardinal rule in defense is always low when you're marking a player especially when you know he's not in the position to see the ball please put your protect your feet right, in. Uh, Hendrix Waits again at the top of the circle. Will they try something a little bit different? Danea is to his left. Will it be a variation? Comes to Hendricks again, sweeps. Ragonas done a good job. It lifts to the back post. Kept in play by Belgium, but Manfred comes out, and dribbles the ball away from Danea, and then fires it up the side. Yeah, I thought it could have been. Yeah, fair, fair enough. You felt they should have got another penalty corner for the deflection off Ragunath, dangerously lifted. Stockbrooks tries it forward, wheels along the baseline is blocked. Questioning the decision by David Tomlinson, who's given a long corner. Reels, I think. Well, that was a good comment from the umpire saying, if you want, we can go upstairs. Reels thinking better of it. Davinda. Short pass to Kotajit, who manages to feed SV Sunil. SV Sunil, Mandy makes a run in front of goal. And clipped and a penalty corner. So Hendricks is going to get a card and a yellow card. So the one drag flicker is off now for Belgium for five minutes. And they've got to defend a penalty corner. India's first penalty corner of the match. And they've actually got a good return as we see SB Sunil breaking forward, hand in the back, just clipped his feet as well. Well, the movement started with Kodajit. You were talking about Kodajit at the half time. He, he got the ball, he held it for a second, waited for Sunil to get in a position and played a beautiful pass to him. Sunil's speed, electric speed down the line. Hendricks puts a uh, body in the way, pushes him, yellow card, PC. And you have scored two goals from six attempts so far in the tournament. They have Raghunath, then they have Harmanpreet. Raghunath to the left at the top of the circle, Harmanpreet to the right. Cottage will stop for Harmanpreet, and it will be Danish to stop for Raghunath. 
They go to Raghunath, working a variation. He swept it, saved on the line. And that was a great block. Still alive, though, for India, trying to play in. I'm not sure if that was a deliberate move. Well, Raghunath actually takes the first runner. He moves, the, he gets towards the first runner, commits the first runner, pulls the ball to his left-hand side and pushes in the same motion. The postie gets the ball on the line and deflects the ball wide. Doman sweeping the ball out to Van Doren, and good to see he's back out there as well. He was involved in that collision with SV Sunil. Play, play, play. It's not fast, Sunil Bokard. Pressure from Utupa, okay. back. Okay. back to Bokard. And that's Harman Preet now surging forward over halfway. Belgium's letting him run, and there was a mix up at the back. Utupa made a run, and Talvinder suddenly thought, I've got to get this now. Well, different, the players in the changing position to be running in different lines. One definitely posting up, and somebody offering to receive the ball. Talvinder goes a half hard attempt towards the left hand side to pick up that ball. We heard Roland Altmans wasn't very happy with the way his team had performed in the first half. I was trying to think, Cedric, I haven't seen Chinglin Sana come on in this match much. I'm just wondering whether he has an injury. Another penalty corner for a stick check and a real fist pump from the Indian players. Well, it's a great movement down the line again, going down to the baseline. Devin the Malt, Valniki in the thick of things, gets that ball and a stick check, complete hack on the stick by Simon Seaman of Gunnard and a penalty corner for India. You know India is dangerous on penalty corners. So another chance now, it's Harjit who moves in to stop. Raghunath at the first battery, <laughs> Harman Preet at the second. Will they go with Harman Preet or will they stick with Raghunath? Ready? Harman Preet always looks so relaxed. Raghunath always leaning on his stick. They go with Raghunath again, he sweeps it, saved by Van Ash. Over the crossbar it goes. Harman Preet looks to take the long corner quickly. All the gear being thrown behind the goal by Belgium. It's a good pass into the circle, looking for Mandy, but he's penalised for a stick check. Yeah. And a good flick by Raghunath, but Vincent Van Ash goes down to the right-hand side, ball flips him on the pads and goes over the goal. The resultant long corner, you look at Harman Peet, he spins off three players and fires that ball inside. The Belgium defence low, and the ball doesn't get to Mandeep. Stockbrooks bursting through the middle after a good combination with Gunnard. It's a good pass from him. Across the D it comes, good defence again. Kotajit, the man there, to deflect it out of the circle, but it's won back by Bocard. Played to the right-hand side, Stockbrooks into the D he goes. Well-timed tackle again. It's Kotaji once more. Well, in, this, in that sustained pressure by Belgium for the last couple of set minutes, it was Kotaji all the way. One great steal in front of the player, and secondly, again, another interception right on top of the circle. And the man from Manipur has really set the world on fire. He was out with a few injuries latter part of 2015, but he is such a key player. In my opinion, an unsung hero of the Indian team. You got the words out of my mouth, Ashley. It's uh, not only an unsung hero, you've got a couple of guys there in that team. It's even Surinder, who's very, very quiet. He just has his role, but he's a strong defender. He played forward, strong challenge, but Kossins comes up with the ball ahead of Pardeep Moore. Played across, Srijesh comes out, and it's a collision with him and Depau. But Depau gets up, no one's hurt. Well, Kossins plays that ball inside, and Srijesh cuts out the angle. Uh, and, and blocks the ball before the ball can dip it home. We've just been notified that Chinglin Sana will not be playing in this match, but will be fit for tomorrow. So maybe a little bit of muscle soreness. It is a long tournament, comes into the D. Mandy couldn't bring it under control. Yeah, yeah, Gunnard yeah, yeah. came back, defending well and combined with Stockbrooks. They're having a lot of touches, those two players on that right-hand side. They're on the attack now. Gunnard going forward, Stockbrooks had made a good run. It's a Foul going against the Vindaval Mickey. Well, actually, if we just look at uh, the midfield of India, 
in, yes, in the last match, they, they left Harjit out. They left Chinglisana out. Maybe it's a ploy by Ultimates to leave one of the midfielders out on every match. Maybe it is, because only 16 players can go to Rio. So maybe he's thinking with the goalkeeper and rest a player. He's using just 16 players per game, so they get used to having to work that little bit harder. Superb diagonal pass, but Pardip Moore read it, and now he breaks forward. And Pardip Moore actually doing frontal marking and picking up the zone in front, the danger zone, and picks up the ball very cleanly. Comes back to Raghunath, back to Pardip Moore. He has SK Utupa ahead of him, looks to check back, but it's a good tackle. Forcing him to just double check and then go to Raghunath. Now Harmanpreet picks out Harjit. Harji on the reverse, but it was blocked. Still alive inside the D. India won a penalty corner. Mandeep was appealing. Mandeep's fought back to get the ball and now has a free hit go his way. Taken quickly by Harji. Harji takes on Denea, but Denea comes up with the ball for Belgium. see the league table as it stands at the moment Australia on top India in second place if it's a draw Great Britain drop to third spot and Belgium will remain at the bottom of the ladder there's plenty to play for if Belgium want to try and play off we heard Shane McLeod saying pre-match to Michael Absalom that he believes this is like a quarter-final for Belgium and good practice for the Olympics as Akash Deep tried to play it forward for Talvinda. Again, good defence by Belgium, but they're scrambling a little bit at the moment. Talvinda thwarted. The ball will come to Akash Deep and the decision goes against India because Talvinda just booted that ball across to Akash Deep. One of the things I've watched in this team with Belgium doing is they actually just took putting their hands up and the whistle hasn't gone. They've got to learn to play the whistle. Sometimes the Empire will not see it. Belgium, oh, a very strong team. They're not ranked number five in the world for no reason, but we should highlight the fact that this is their first tournament since the start of the year, so there's bound to be a little bit of rustiness to the way they play and the combinations. One just worries a little bit, Cedric, that maybe they've left it too late to be having a tournament with the Olympics just 50 days away. It's not very far, so you need to be hitting your straps around now. Well, you know, if they, they don't click in this tournament, because they're so they're so uh, geographically uh, kept in, in Europe, they can go to play any matches around, around themselves in terms of Holland and Germany and, you know, UK also. Has Austria won a game? Well, we hope to play again against them. It'll be great. Comes out to Kotaji. Kotaji just plays an infield as Dokier blocked his path down the side. Now Raghunath, just a gentle flick of the wrists, manages to pick out Davinda Valmiki. Valmiki gets the play of call on. It comes to SV Sunil. He picks out Akashdeep. Akashdeep can't get the better of Stockbrooks. And Stockbrooks again, calm as you like, plays it forward. Now it's Breels for Belgium. Reels and the Indian players all putting their hands up. David Tomlinson goes, Belgium, you can have the ball. Gunard brings it down well on the reverse. Gunard advances, pushes the ball out wide. The shot comes in and it's lifted over the bar. But what defending by uh, Surrender to prevent Dokia getting a really clean shot. That was just outstanding from Surrender. I think Dokia thought he had so much more time. Well, he did have enough time, but Surrender's really good at closing down and lunging with a stick. Van Strydon. Van Strydon gets the better of Manpreet, still going. Dokia's pulled back, he pushes a ball into the circle. Looking to try and get in there is Charlier. Charlier still on the ball for Belgium. Strong challenge from Valmiki. Now it's Pardip Moore, back to Valmiki. India happy to try and play the ball out of defence. Charlie Ake still has his stick low down, trying to hem Pardip Moore in. Okay. Well, Valmiki is actually a very versatile player. He plays in, in striker, as a striker, as a midfielder, as a defender. Oh, yeah. He does it all. He's really good. He's, got a, he's a complete player. Belgium coming into this 
third quarter towards the last five minutes. Good defending again from Kotaji. Penalised for a back stick was Jerome Troyans. Can't believe it. Now, I'm sorry. is really low in the circle. He's so good, he's so quick. He covers the angle so beautifully. Graham Reed in the stands watching this match. Belgium, their next opponents, as we see the goals from their victory over Germany. They were losing 2-0, they were losing 3-2, but Australia ended up on top, 4-3. And they're now top of the 2016 Hero Hockey Champions Trophy League ladder. Akashdeep, it's Talvinda. Akashdeep and Talvinda looking to try and win the ball back, but it's a good challenge from Hendricks. Going to go up into the stands because Michael Absalom has now sat down next to the Australian coach. Well, I've almost sat down, I'm, I'm still stood actually, but thanks Ashley. Uh, Graeme, you're watching this game, obviously top of the table at the moment, Australia, and uh, you have Belgium tomorrow. Play. What do you make of the game so far? Yeah, look, it's an interesting uh, tussle. Um, been a lot of draws in this uh, competition, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this uh, pans out. But uh, yeah, look, interesting some of the, the uh, patterns that, that we're seeing from both teams actually, and, and we were just making the comment that, that India are looking uh, very good as from a point of view of moving the ball quickly um, and, and of course Belgium skills are now starting to come come to the fore I think um, they've, they've had a few months off but each game they'll get better and better so so we'll be using that tomorrow to, to, to G our troops up we'll see you back here tomorrow indeed thanks Mark. Bye. and the man to the right of Graham Reed is team manager Nathan Eglinton who won a gold medal Australia's only Olympic gold medal in Athens in 2004 Sadly, injury robbed him of going to Beijing. Denea, centre field stolen by Nick Intermeyer, but won back well by Depau. Depau helps it forward. Belgium looking to try and get the lead again before the final break. Squirting the ball through, but Hunman Preet cleans up. Now he finds SV Sunil. Nick Intermeyer's made a break down the left, but SV Sunil believes he can beat Hendricks for pace, and he does. Still with SV Sunil. Into the D he goes, looking to lay it across, but in the end, Denea just sweeps up and does what two defenders couldn't do before him. But Sunil had shown a clean pair of heels, moved into the circle. That's well, Gunnar now, sorry, Cedric. Great chance yeah. comes across, it's a goal! Well, they broke back, and Jerome Troyans has given Belgium the lead. And SV Sunil has sunk to his knees on halfway. Well, Belgium finally broke out at pace, and they've got a reward for it with Troyans giving them back the lead. Well, that ball is. Troyans gets that ball, he gets, and he hits that ball. Look at CJ, she's falling. He's, he's falling down, he should be standing erect, covering his angle. It goes off his right foot into the goal. Well, that's two goals that he is not going to want on his highlights reel. Sri Jesh, normally the rock of India in defence as they push back and have to fight their way back. Just over a minute left in the third quarter. And their most reliable player on most occasions he's actually let them down tonight you've got to say that Cedric because both have gone through his legs yeah he's actually the wall today he's leaked a couple of goals but you know Sri Jesus has got the mental strength to get back and, and, and to motivate his team India on the attack along the baseline Denea over the baseline so it is a long corner oh, no, 16 has been given thank you Empires communicating, yeah. Roland okay. Altman's having plenty to think about. Deep more intercepts but can't bring the ball under control, it goes out of play. Yet need to just hang on for the final. Two minutes or in fact 20 seconds. Belgium will be very happy that they're going into the final break with a lead to thwart SV Sunil and broke up pace and unlocked India's defence. Ball is stopped as the Peter goes and the players trudge off. Jerome Troyans has given Belgium the lead and that could have a massive impact on the standings in this competition. 
Roland Altman's putting his earpiece together has got some thoughts for his team. Belgium 2, India 1 going into the final break. Toussaint Kandeka just talking to Roland Altman's. Shane McLeod is straight into giving his players information. Gunard breaking forward, just cuts infield, then feeds the ball to Troyans, and Troyans beats Srijesh at his near post. Srijesh planted his left foot against the post and then tried to kick it away almost, Cedric, when you think he might have been better off just to block it. I agree with you. Actually, the, the issue is that Srijesh's balance is, he's not as balanced on both feet, he's actually on one side. And you're asking for trouble when you're not balanced. He's got both the goals against him have been because of his not being in a balanced position. I was talking to the former Indian coach, Terry Walsh, in Malaysia, and he was saying it was one of the things they worked on with Srijesh was to get him balanced when shots were taken. And he feels he is now moving around a lot, whereas they thought they'd stamp that out when Terry was in charge. I don't know, you're a former goalkeeper, you'd know far better than me. Well, a goalkeeper who's moving and is not stationary when the hit is taken is, ask, is actually asking for trouble. Absalom has another special guest down on the sideline for us. Yeah, they just keep coming. Uh, Shane McLeod with us, the head coach of Belgium. You've got your noses in front. What ha has to happen now? Well, you have to hold that, you know, like it's uh, we have to be really clever and make sure we don't give away easy opportunities and uh, try and control the game. That's the key to it. You said it was a must win game, a quarter final scenario for yeah. you guys. Um, how important that you pick up those three points? Yeah, it's, it's vital, and this is an uh, excellent rehearsal. We couldn't ask for more. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Bye. Shane McLeod says this game is vital, so too is the win. SV Sunil trying to launch another attack for India. Goes to the baseline, was he clipped? He's gone out of play. Long corner is the decision from the umpire. Smiles all around from the defence and the attack. Bokhard and SV Sunil having a laugh. And oh, and Sunil was down there again, but he just couldn't get the touch. Or may have just gone behind him. Well, it's a great ploy by India. Actually, all the players are playing this ball into the circle, slightly raised over the flat sticks of defenders. The ball just goes over Bokhard and actually over Sunil's flat stick too. Ah, Sunil had a chance there to get an equaliser. To be fair, Bokhard in front of him probably obscured his view as it was played. Another good run from Stockbrooks into the D it goes. Off the back of the stick is the call. Uh, we heard Shane McLeod saying this is a big test for his team. This is a big test for India now. Again, Roland Altman's boys have got to show that they've got the metal to come back. I agree, but you also got to understand that India has come with a lot of players minus in this tournament. So they're actually building up and looking for a couple of places for Rio. Talvinda, good pass out wide, looking to sweep it back was SV Sunil. I agree, Cedric, but it's important because if you look at India in the top tournaments, they haven't in the past beaten the top nations in regulation time. I mean, their win against Great Britain was the first time they'd beaten them in 49 years in England. But it's time they started, if they want to be in amongst the medals in Rio, India has to beat the top teams in the world in tournaments. And the first thing is they got to beat them in test matches and then bring that into the tournaments. And India has won a couple of big games, big names in the in, in test matches. So they won the first one against Britain recently. It's a start in the right direction. Oh, absolutely. It's Doman. He's been kept fairly quiet. Danaya plays it out to Breels. Breels to Bokhard. India's defence all back and shifting well. Good discipline. Nard forced to go back again. Stop Brooks looks up. So it goes down well by Mandy. This is the strength of Belgium. They keep shifting the ball, transferring it from one side to the other side, from the ball side to the help side. It's very important to do the direct transfers and stretch the defense. And Strider carries forward. And he slaps one. 
Brought under control well by Briels. Briels just dummied the pass to Charlier. Now he gives it to Depau. Depau to the baseline. Good pass. Lifted up off the stick of Harman Preet. Not deemed dangerous. Comes back to Depau. Depau tries to get the better of Kotaji. And the whistle goes against Kotaji. So it's right on the edge of the circle. Depau took it himself. Goes back to Van Strooydon, comes to him again. Smacks it, deflection. Breels appealing well, well, that it well. came off Manpreet's foot. They're going to refer, I think. So Breels saying it went on the back yeah. Yeah, of the stick yeah. of Manpreet. Dion now oh, will let us know what he thinks. Do you want to refer? Well, they've decided against the referral, and a penalty corner has been given because I think either the Indian player has admitted it. I think the other part told the uh, passed on the information that it was a back stick, rolled on the stick. But the ball that was crossed inside, again, a great deflection in front of the Indian defence. So he just has well to pat that ball, and the ball rolled onto Manfred's stick, and a penalty corner for Belgium. Hendricks has one goal from a penalty corner today. Can he get a second? And really take this game away from India. Comes to Denea. Denea will swept that just past Srijic's left-hand post. Well, the ball is actually a slip ball. And he's looking for a deflection by Breels to kind of tip that ball and the power, both on the right-hand side, for sliding for that ball, but not in contention to get it. Well, we're going to take a look at the as it stands table as it is at the moment. So Belgium win, they suddenly jump up into fourth spot and if we level on points with India. Still minus one on the goal difference, India will be zero on goal difference. But it's good news for Great Britain who will be cemented in second but also on four points, and there'll be so much to play for in the games tomorrow. As Gunard breaks forward into the circle. It's a good pass across the D, it comes, and a penalty corner given, and Cossines was denied. But that was, again, great movement from Belgium. Well, the first pass, the first early release is so important. They get that ball without even looking up and play that ball perfectly into the circle. Cousins goes inside, Kotaji's low, but he clips his foot and a penalty corner. Again, it's Kotaji, the man who's saved India so many times tonight. So Mandeep has picked up a yellow card, so India down to 10 men. They really are under pressure. Hendrix sweeps, Raghunath does well, that was off his stick. Coming back is Harman Preet to clean up. He got there really quickly from the halfway line, ahead of Gunard. Doman brings it down ahead of Akashdeep, looks to keep the pressure on India. Hussein's just looking for options. India just resetting up and getting in their positions, defensive zones. And Strydon helps it forward, Gunard on the left-hand side. Goes back to Troyans. Belgium sweeping the ball from left to right. It's been stolen by India. Devinda Valmiki. I believe Michael Absalon has the coach of India with him. Yeah, I do. I'm beside Roland. And um, what has to change in these final nine minutes and ten seconds, Roland? Yeah, well, the problem is that we just received the yellow card. We were supposed to play full press on their defense and try to get more uh, uh, more possession on the opponent's half. But, uh, yeah, I think we got a very unlucky uh, yellow card, to be honest. Chance, Chance here, here for Belgium. Oh, again, good defense. Raghunath oh. stopping Gunnar. Sorry to interrupt, but... Yeah, referral being used by Belgium. Uh, we're looking for a ball up off the defender and the attacker. I saw it come up off the defender, but can we have a look? 
Looking to see if the balls come up. Raised. Yeah. Looking for a raised ball. Was that up off Nick Intermeyer or was it up off the Belgium stick? I think Nickin's played it into the Belgian stick is my view of it. Cedric, what's yours? Well, it goes onto Nick, uh, Nickin's stick, it hits uh, the Belgian stick and then goes onto the Belgian player. So at the last point is actually the Belgian player. So I would not give a penalty corner. That angle, it looks like Nickin's played it straight up into the player, but it looked the other angle that it came off the Belgian's player then into his body. Who'd be a video umpire? Dion Nell has to work out what is David, the right decision. Go ahead. I have a decision for you. The ball has come off the defender stick, therefore penalty corner. Okay. Thank you. Well, he feels differently to us, Cedric. That's why he's an umpire and be a commentator. Absolutely. I said it's a tricky job. So another penalty corner for Belgium. All right, fellas, let's go. Let's go, boys. We haven't got time here. Tenth penalty corner. Eighth penalty corner, my apologies. As it comes out, swept towards goal, goes wide this time from Cossines. Haven't seen him have a shot yet in the tournament from a PC. But it was a great run by Raghunath because he's covered the line. He moved away from the hot line to the left-hand side and Cousin had to shift his angle slightly and put the ball wide. And the cameraman did a great job to show the line that Raghunath ran. It was excellent to see him shift and change. And then Cossin's forced to put the foot, the shot rather, to the left. Approaching the halfway point of this final quarter. Can India find a way back in this match? SV Sunil looking to fire it in. It comes off to Naya. Five, yeah. Inside. Inside, yeah. Yeah, good point. to surrender, moving backwards as he received it. Pardi Moore can't keep the ball in play. Then he's lucky he didn't get a card, just pushing the ball away after the whistle. Pard lifts the ball up. Goes on the attack, pulls away from surrender, leaves the ball behind for Van Albert. Pursued by Pardi through the Play. legs. Good touch from Surrender Kuma. Now it's SK Utupa. Utupa picks out Talvinda. Just SV Sunil ahead of him. Now it's in field to SK Utupa. Ragunath joining the attack on the left hand side. Finds SV Sunil. No, 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 Definitely no, no, got no, a push no, no, in the back. No, no. Well, the umpire says no. Happy, happy. He wants a referral here. Yeah? He wants a referral, is the call. SV Sunil. In my opinion, Cedric definitely got pushed in the back. Well, a slight shove at the back. For okay. me, two. Push? Yeah. Dickham, do you want to take it or Okay. Off? Deliberate push. Yeah. Deliberate push. Okay. Move. Move After five minutes. No, go away. Next, go away, station. otherwise you're going off. Yes. Here is the replay. Hello. No, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Chen. Is on? Yeah. Is We're looking to see if it was a deliberate a, push inside the 25. Yeah, yes. If I inside push and a corner, you you check. Yep. So they're just looking. I think Belgium have resigned themselves. They're beginning to walk back. They've seen it on the big screen. Just a little nudge in the back coming from Stockbrooks there. Just a slight touch, you know. And Neil is in full flight. So a small Chen, touch could do yeah. and flying. I have a decision for you. Yeah. I recommend a free hit just inside the 25 and a possible personal penalty for the push. 
It was not an attacking opportunity. It is far out wide, therefore a free hit. Dion yeah. Mal rather has got that right. I don't think it was an attack into for a penalty corner. But a free hit. Dion. Number 15. Number 15. Yeah. Do so India keep or lose your referral, please? Number 15. Lose your referral. Card. Lose yes. your referral. Lose your referral. Not a penalty corner. Right. So India yeah. lose their referral because they yeah. were looking for a penalty back. corner. Cool. Okay. Right. Free hit. Free hit. Not deliberate though. So okay. they get, but they lose your referral. And you lose your field, so that's really piece of it. Okay. Uh, Stockbrooks was issued a green card, but nobody has left the field yet for Belgium. So... No. No card. Has he gone off yet? Well, the umpire pulled out a card a second ago. He's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. There's nobody sitting on the side, although... Maybe Tomlinson is saying the player yeah. has left the field Number of play. 15 Belgium. Yeah. Yeah. 15 is yeah. still on the pitch, yeah. which is Emmanuel Stockbrooks. He's now making his way off. He was hiding behind the umpire. So both teams now down to 10. Hey. Free hit to India. Can they get something? Manpreet slips as he okay. fires it in. Van Ash with a good save after a deflection just in front of him. A nice post up by the Indian striker to deflect that ball. Van Ash in the position to palm that ball to safety. Yeah, Koo, can you get them to update the board? And India have lost their referral, please. Comes out to the left hand side, carried forward by Bokard. Bokard cuts infield. Manpreet will get the ball for India. He finds Davinda Valmiki. Valmiki, though, when he yeah. tried to find SV Sunil, Sunil was pushed wide. Now it's Valmiki, looks to go on the tomahawk across the D. Cleaned up brilliantly at the back, but it'll fall to Pardeep Moore. Into the circle he goes, drills it across. And it's gone out of play. The Belgium has lost the ball a couple of times in the left pocket in the Indian 25-yard line, and then there's been a counter-attack which has got them into their own pocket. They're just not using the guard. They're trying to go through two, three people and losing the ball. Possession in the opposition 25 is critical. Approaching the final five minutes of this game. An important game for both teams. Kotajit helps it forward to Akashdeep. Akashdeep to Devinda. Manpreet has Pardeep out wide. Danish has made a good run forward. Pardeep let that run very, very close to the edge. And then his pass was not the best, and Troyans picks it up for Belgium. Now it's Breels. Breels is a tricky customer. Surrender dances left, then right. Breels cuts infield. Breels keeps possession and then just goes back to Denea. Bocard being pressured by Nikin Tamaya. Transferred to the right-hand side by Belgium. Now it's Doman. Now is pulled wide onto the left-hand side. It comes to him now. Infield to Doman. Not a good touch from him. Ragunath tries to steal, but gives away a free hit. De Pau with Danish in front of him. Ragunath there. Doman. Back to Bukhard. Play. Pass was a good one, Fan Kossins. Kossins slips the ball into the circle. Srijesh comes out brilliantly to deny Play. Van Aubel. The rebound, though, comes back to Van Aubel. Slips one challenge, and now penalty corner is the call, yeah. but he's been penalised for shielding the ball. But two quick saves by Srijesh, getting low onto his, onto his pads, getting low onto the ground, getting that ball. The first one, a great play, and the, immediately the next one, coming up forward, close off the angle, and the ball hit by Kossins into his, into his leg guards. And Srijesh now, if India can get a draw out of this match, he's probably redeemed himself with those couple of saves. 3-1, there would be little or no way back with just over three and a half minutes remaining. He's going to be called into action again. Oh, and luckily for India, just running out of play. Stop. Good run from Charlier, but just lifted his head at the wrong time. 
you know, you look at it, Belgium has actually been very strong in the, in the opposition circle, for, not in this match, but normally this is one of their strengths, but they haven't showed it in this tournament. Maybe they're actually, a bit rusty because they haven't played a couple of matches. So the penetrations favouring Belgium, as was possession in the opposition's half. 18 shots to seven shows that they really are dominant when they get forward. Now it's Nick into Maya and he just was trying to push it to Akosti, but Akosti had gone already. Yeah, that was Yeah. Well, and his face says it all. Well, they're playing a high press now on Belgium to try and get that equaliser, which is good by India. India play Korea tomorrow at four o'clock, and that'll be a key game. So too will be Australia versus Belgium at six o'clock. And the final game tomorrow, which will be a really big game for Great Britain. So if you're watching here in Britain, make sure you get here and support your team. Great Britain versus Germany. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Another win to Great Britain, and they could Nothing. force their way into the final. First time they've ever hosted the Champions Trophy. And it would be a memorable day if they could get into the finals. India running out of time in this match. Raghunath, short pass to Manpreet. Comes back to Harmanpreet. Surrender, fires it down the side, and Pardeep is missing the ball yeah. completely. Yeah, come on. Yeah, back, back, back. On. So we're just waiting yeah, because. Off, oh, okay, time is off. Shrijesh is yeah. about to depart. We're going to have a kicking fullback for India. So that means they get an extra outfield player to try and win this game. Makes it harder for the defending team. John John Diamond not happy that it is taking so long for this to be worked out. Harman Preet is going to be the man who wears the bib. He is the only defender allowed to use his feet to save a goal. Well, India pushing up another striker in, Man in Mandeep, so you've got four strikers, and lethal strikers in yeah, Nikin, Akashdeep, yeah. Mandeep and Sunil, really pushing up. Look at the stress, look at the pressure on the Belgium defence now. Under two wait, wait, minutes wait, wait, remaining, yeah, Bokhar is going to lift this ball yeah. out of defence. Umpire telling India not to advance. SV Sunil got a touch, but it's gone out of play, Five, and it I'm will I'm be sharp, Belgium's ball again. Played forward, Surrender got there that time ahead of Dokie, but it came out of play Take off his stick. Yeah. Dokie not going to take it, he's going to leave it for Bukhard. Belgium just need to keep possession. Going into the corner is Charliet. India were appealing for a back stick and they've got the decision. Charlier turns his hands skywards in shock. Pushing the back to Raghunath. Played out wide now. Kotajit has managed to get forward for once. Now it's Akashdeep. Akashdeep into the circle, doubles back, but showed too much of the ball. Gunnar takes it away into the corner. Akashdeep trying to win it back. It is India's ball deflected into the circle, but nobody there. It was cleared by Doman. Comes out onto the right hand side. Pardeep Moore helps it forward. SV Sunil. Will he just drill it? Yes, he will. It goes over the baseline of Bokhard. It'll be a long corner to India. The clock continues to count down. Okay. Manpreet is made the decision and the umpire's happy with where he took the balls. SV Sunil tries to go along the baseline. He's got a free hit for India. Manpreet comes yeah. to take it. Okay. Ball must travel five yeah. metres. Manpreet goes backwards. Not sure it really did. And Belgium, well, it's stolen inside the circle. But Belgium are going to get the ball. Now they're going to attack quickly. There's a good break down the left-hand side from Charliet. Charliet doesn't have a lot of support, so he's going to take it into the corner. And it looks as if Belgium are going to break India's unbeaten run in this tournament and record their first victory of the 2016 Hero Hockey Champions Trophy. Shake of the hands, and India battled hard, but Belgium looking as if they're back to their defensive best. Shri well, it's a game he'll be disappointed with. Manpreet with a shake of the head. Banash shakes hands.
Belgium's tournament is still alive. Final score, Belgium 2, India 1. Well, Cedric, Belgium, I think, thoroughly deserved that win. As we look at the results from today, South Korea, or rather Korea, went down 4-1. But the results now mean that Belgium move up from the bottom of the ladder to fourth. India are in third. Great Britain have jumped above India, who were top of the ladder at the start of the day. And Australia now three points clear at the top. Take a look at the games coming up tomorrow. First up will be India v Korea. India needing to get back to winning ways. Australia can assure themselves of a place in the final with victory over Belgium. And Great Britain, well, that's going to be a big game against Germany. Great Britain need to keep winning to make sure they contest the final on Friday.